Hi, I'm Sarah and I'm a cosplayer and today I'm going to be showing you how I styled my Kaidahara Kazuha wig from Genshin Impact. Everything I use in this video will be linked in the description, including the wig itself. I will also have discount codes for other cosplay related items and links to my social media in the description as well, if you wanted to check those out. I am also doing wig commissions and that information can also be found in the description. Before styling the wig, I took it out of the bag and placed it onto my wig head. I pinned it down to make sure that it wouldn't move during styling. I then brushed out the wig before teasing it. Teasing a wig is just backcombing with a teasing brush. Teasing a wig will help add volume to the wig and allow you to shape and style the wig better. Once the entire wig is teased, you want to spray it with hairspray and blow dry it to dry the hairspray and add heat to the wig. You then want to give the wig a few minutes to cool before brushing it out. Once the wig was brushed out, I started styling the ahego on the top of the wig. I used thinning shears to thin the section, then used a flat iron to get the wig fibers to sit where I wanted them. After styling the ahego, I start to section the front part of the wig using bobby pins and hair clips. This will help me keep track of where I want certain sections of the wig to start and make it easier to focus on each section. I then use a flat iron to shape the bangs to go the direction I want them to. Using a flat iron will help heat up the fibers of the wig and shape them in the way you want it. You'll want to hold the section of the wig you're styling until it cools to make sure it doesn't lose the shape you give it. It may take a couple times applying heat to get it the way you want it or get it to stay. Once the bangs were done, I move on to the longer front pieces of the wig, the pieces left out of the ponytail, and curled them to frame the face.
Once the longer pieces in the front were done, I moved on to the top of the head. I started with the top layers of the wig and trimmed them to be shorter to add layers. I then thinned them and curled them upwards with a flat iron. I then worked my way down the wig curling pieces upward. I then switched to the other side of the wig to do the red part. I separated the white hairs out of the red section to make sure they weren't mixed together. I separated the sections into two and cut the top part shorter than the bottom part. I then used the thinning shears to thin it and the flat iron to curl them upwards. I also redid the ponytail to make sure it would sit better on the shoulder. Once I finished the red part of the hair and the ponytail, I worked on the pieces that sat in front of the red part. My phone stopped recording at this point, but the rest of the video was me repeating the steps I had followed earlier to continue to work through the wig curling upward and giving it texture. I then sprayed the wig with hairspray and added glitter to the red part, sealing it in with more hairspray and blow drying it to dry. I then added faux leaves to give the wig a more personalized touch. Sorry some of the video cut out, but I'll also hopefully have another updated Kazuha wig styling video soon, since this video was recorded in July. Regardless, thank you for watching, and let me know what other wig videos you'd like to see. Bye!